Hey, this is James again. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about expressions and properties. Uh, I hear you say. Uh, I'm following on, <laughs> maybe not, but uh, I'm going to follow on from a few weeks ago where we did some conversions and today we're going to do another conversion. Uh, so currently my project is in uh, metric and sometimes, especially in uh, like Singapore, Malaysia region, uh, often you want to see metric and imperial uh, listed together. So I'll show you a little bit of a workaround on how we can get those kind of values listed. So I'm going to start by getting the slab tool and I'm just going to make some a few massings. So I'm just going to make this uh, kind of a, a block and just turn it to glass. And I can see that the SLA01, so the others should be one, two, three, five, however many I draw. And okay for now. And I'm just gonna draw just a few blocks, just to kind of get a sense of, uh, okay, so something like this. Uh, let's just have a quick look in 3D. Okay. I'm just going to change the outline to black to so it's a little bit more visible. So I'll cut line to black. And okay. Okay, so it's a little bit better. Okay, so this is, might be a massing study that we're doing. So uh, we can use this same technique for zone, uh, morph, etc. So a actually, any any of the element types. I'm just going to use slab uh, for now. I'm going back to my floor plan. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new schedule just to list down some uh, base information. So I'm going to call this just slab massing and OK. And I want the criteria to just be slab for now because uh, I've only got these four, few slabs. And I'm going to add a couple of fields here. Uh, the first one is the element ID because I know that this is going to be unique to those four blocks. Uh, then I'm going to choose area, add the area, and I want volume as well. So because uh, there's no holes or anything like this, I'm just going to choose the gross volume for now. So it's just these three uh, fields. Okay, so OK. And I'm just going to open this up. Yep, this slab massing. Okay, uh, just double click this header to resize. So this area is currently listed as square meters and the volume is currently at uh, cubic meters. Okay, so these are the sizes we have, but we want areas to also show in square feet and we also want the volume to be in cubic feet uh, as well, listed side by side. So let's see how, sort of what workaround we can use to get uh, this information listed. So I'm going to go to my property manager up here and I'm going to create a new one. So slab area and square feet and OK. So that will add it to this uh, group. And first I'm going to just check the availability because I want to make sure that this uh, property is going to be attached to those slabs. So I'll go edit and slab and I'm going to make sure that it's going to be assigned to anything that's a slab. So I guess ideally I should have a classification for massing, for example, but for now I'm just going to use slab and OK. So back to my value definition. And we're going to change this. I will show you kind of two methods. So let's change this to area. So that makes sense. And I'm going to use an expression. And I want to convert area area uh, actually it's maybe easier to find just in the general okay area and I will have to uh, multiply this by a conversion rate and I have this on the floor plan so I just need to leave this dialog so all it's doing is showing me the same value so currently it's not showing me the square feet version but for now, I just want to uh, find what that conversion is. I'm going to leave this dialog, so OK. I'm going to go back to my floor plan because here 
earlier, I have worked out what the conversion rate is for one square meter into square feet and also cubic meter into cubic feet. So I want this multiplier, it's 10.7. So I'm going to copy this. So I go back to my property manager and then I'm going to multiply the square meter version by this 10.7 uh, value. And I'm going to click OK. And I'll click OK on this. And then let's see what happens with the uh, schedule here. Uh, so I need to add this uh, new property in here as another column. So I'll go back into my scheme, add field, and I think square feet, yep. So double click to add this, just gonna drag it up so it's underneath the area, and okay. Okay, so now we've got these figures. I'm just gonna align these to the decimal points for now, so they look a little bit neater. Uh, but now I want totals. So I'm going to get a total for the area. So I'm going to click here to get the sum. And also I want an area for the square feet version. And you'll see in a second. Okay, so here I see the totals, but because we're only set in one unit, both of them are going to be showing square meters. So this is uh, incorrect. So this is showing me information that's uh, that's... Yeah, so I could try to hide this, but that's not a very nice option. So the other option, instead of uh, indicating this as an area as well, I'm going to convert this into a number, this column. So I'm going to go back into my property manager, go to the square feet one, and instead of the data type being an area, I'm actually going to convert this to a number. So let's see what the number roughly is. So 1600, uh, 1643. So I'm going to convert this into a number. And now I can see this uh, expression is uh, invalid because it doesn't know that like what unit is currently being used to convert into just a number. So if it's an area, then it will just be all the same unit. But because it's a number, it has to kind of convert a unit. So I need to do a a conversion of this area into a number. So to do that, I'm just going to put it in brackets and I'm going to divide this by one square meter and now it's okay. And then multiplying this by the same 10.7 value. So let's go okay on this. So I've converted this area into just a, a number and then multiplied it by this uh, conversion rate. I'm going to go OK and then see what happens. OK, so it's the same value. Uh, now I just don't have this meter squared. So this is now a number, but it's showing me the correct value. So great. So let's do the same thing for the uh, cubic uh, meter into a cubic feet as well. So I'm going to go back in my property manager and I'm going to get this one and just duplicate it and then we'll modify it. So I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to just call this cubic feet. Still, it's a number. I'm going to modify the expression. So I don't want the area. I want the gross volume so it matches what it's conver conver converting from. So gross volume, that one. And of course, it's not square meter. It's cubic meter. And this multiplier is actually incorrect. So I'm going to delete this. And we'll come back to this dialog with the correct value. So currently it's just converting the metric into just a number. So OK. And that looks fine. So OK. Back to my floor plan because I also had the conversion here. So I need to get this 35 value. So copy. So all I did was actually just put this in Google. Like what is one square meter in feet? And then it gave me the conversion rate. So I'll go back into my property, this cubic feet version, I'm going to double click and we're going to multiply this by the 35.3 uh, number. So OK and OK. So back into my schedule, I'm going to add this as another column. So back into my scheme, add field and I'm going to look up cubic, so cubic feet. And I'll make these both have a sum value as well. Okay, now if I see the whole schedule, 
And I'm just going to align these to the decimal points as well, so they're a bit better aligned. Okay, so now we have a conversion between square meter to square feet and cubic meter into cubic feet here. Okay, so one thing you'll notice that if I click on any of the values of the square meter, because this is uh, calculated data uh, directly from the model, I can't edit it, so I can't reshape the model. So this is kind of just uh, extracting that information from the model. But I can do this for the converted rate. So let me just show you. So if I, this 974, if I just say 500, so you notice that it doesn't change the uh, square meter. All it does is put a custom, uh, custom number in here. So if I then select this in full plan and open up the settings, and if I scroll down with my properties, I can see here this the square feet, I've just typed in 500. So this is just a kind of a random number that uh, is entered into the uh, slab, but it's not being derived from the size of the slab. I'm going to change this back to default and OK and then back to my schedule, and now these are uh, calculated data. So just keep that in mind not to edit the, uh, these expressions, because then you'll lose the, uh, the kind of expression behavior. Um, so maybe for this large one, let's resize and then see what happens. So I'm gonna go select in floor plan, and just gonna stretch this to be a bit bigger, and then back to my schedule. And yeah, now I can see that the, the area has changed and also the converted um, uh, data with the expressions has also updated. So just to check that again, so if I go on with the floor plan and I'm just going to get a label, associate this label to here, just moving it out of the way a little bit. Okay, so here I want the meter meter squared value, so if it was just area, so double click, and then I'm going to go the cubic feet, sorry, not cubic feet, uh, square feet, yep, and if I go square, yep, so here's the property the, with the expression, okay, so we can also add this into the, uh, into the label, so uh, if I then resize this again, then you can see the values are updated. Okay, so I hope that was uh, useful to show how we can use the expression to kind of convert uh, the data into a, another number just by using that conversion rate. Um, obviously, you'd probably want to, uh, it's not maybe 100% because the conversion rate, maybe you would need like 20 different uh, decimal points, but I think this is a good, um, generally a good workaround for, for this problem. And especially here in kind of Singapore and Malaysia, uh, this is often needed where we need to show both uh, values. Yeah. Okay, so until the next time, thanks and, uh, and bye.